This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about what you do know. You know that as we start in 1998, we're six weeks removed from the Montreal screw job. Um, the last pay-per-view of 1997 undertaker's opponent was just was Jeff Jarrett. He's 32 years old at the beginning of the year. Uh, but he's dealt with a number of uh, injuries in his career. He's been on TV since 89 and, uh, and it's crazy to think, you know, time's sort of a funny thing as we start in 1998, the undertaker is ricochet's age. And you go back and you see old interviews with Bret Hart. And he talked about how, before he left the world wrestling federation, Taker was pretty openly talking to him about, Hey man, I probably only got a couple of years left doing this. And of course we know fast forward 20 years, he's still at it. Um, did you think back in early 98, well, we probably only got Taker another year or two. Absolutely not. You knew he loved it too much and he'd find a way. Yeah, you know, I always go back, and, and this has been a recurring story with with guys like Taker, even Sean, um, Austin, for that matter, uh, that I always used to give the analogy of Bruiser and the Crusher. You know, they were, good Lord, probably 60 years old and still in the ring. Just people wanted to see their entrance. People wanted to beat the shit out of somebody, and they didn't take any bumps. And people were happy to see him. I said, man, you know, you'll be 75 years old. I said, as long as we can wheel you out on stage to raise your hands up, bring the lights up, people are going to be happy. And I still maintain that today. Well, on the heels of this, now that the undertaker has been burned alive, uh, he's going to take some time off and, uh, I believe not only to heal some injuries, but he's got a, a sick parent. I think it was his dad. How important was it to, uh, grant the dead man this time off? I mean, he's like one of your most loyal soldiers. And if he needs a little time off, we figure a way to make it happen. Is that why we, uh, we wanted this spectacular fire? Well, it was also a way to keep Kane and undertaker apart prior to WrestleMania. You add into all of that, the other issues that were going on and his, his dad was not feeling well at the time and, and Taker was looking to spend some time and help his dad out during this time, help his mom out uh, with his dad. So it was an optimum time and it gave you good reason. You know what? Go, go heal up a little bit, go take care of your business that you need to take care of. And when the time's right, we'll bring you back to WrestleMania and people will be happy to see the dead man again. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.